you listen to music? Do you watch films? Do you wear clothes? Well, most people would say yes. But do you make music? Do you make films? Do you make clothes? If not, why not? When I was a child, I wanted to be a fashion designer. I spent hours drawing women wearing extravagant dresses, patterned jeans, and asymmetrical swimsuits. I had a clear idea in my mind of how these clothes would look. A few years later, studying for my textiles GCSE, I encountered an enemy, the sewing machine. I fell out of love with fashion design as soon as I realized how challenging it was to operate this machine. And ultimately, my practical skills were nowhere near the level of my artistic vision. I made a 1920s flapper dress for my final project. The dress wasn't very good, but I still did well in my GCSE thanks to the standard of my drawing and despite the quality of the sewing. I haven't made any clothes since. So I made a dress, once. I count that as a success. Throughout my life, I have also made films, filled sketchbooks with paintings and drawings and collages, and taken photographs early in the morning to capture architecture in the best light. I've devised plays. I've even choreographed dances alone in my bedroom which I am definitely never going to share with anyone. Although I think there might be one embarrassing home video somewhere. I've enjoyed making all of these things, but the art form I've spent the most time on is music. I'm a singer-songwriter. Some days I stand in front of lots of people and I perform. Other days I sit in my room with a notebook, a pen and a guitar, and I explore ideas, emotions and musical patterns through the process of writing. Writing songs challenges me intellectually, helps me psychologically and emotionally, and connects me with a wider community. Today, I urge you to explore the arts, explore your creativity, and make something. Paint a picture, write a song, Make a film. I'm not talking about making it in the sense of becoming rich and world famous. I'm not even talking about putting energy into developing a social media following. Make something yourself for yourself. Create something that didn't exist before. There are three reasons why I think this is worth doing. It's good mental exercise. It connects you with other people, and it can improve your emotional well-being. What do I mean by mental exercise? Turn off social media for a couple of hours. Yes, really. Pick up a guitar, a paintbrush, or a notebook and pen, something other than your phone. Or dare to use your phone differently, by taking photos of the world around you, or by making a film. Creating something is an opportunity to explore new ways of thinking, develop problem-solving skills, and engage parts of your brain that don't get exercised often enough. You don't have to do this alone. Collaborating on a creative project is an amazing way to learn new ways of working and form strong relationships. Get your friends together to write, direct, produce, star in, and edit a short film. Lay down ideas for a song using recording software and send it to a musician on the other side of the world to add their own parts. Draw illustrations for someone's short story. Whether you work with people you already know or have only just met, collaborating on artistic projects is a unique way to get to know someone and to develop teamworking and communication skills that can also benefit you in a huge range of careers. But exploring the arts is not just about being employable. It's also about being a healthy and balanced human being. 
Art can be therapeutic and can positively impact your mental health. If you're lucky, you'll make something you can be proud of and hold on to. But the creative process itself is beneficial. It encourages you to be mindful and stay in the moment. You might have listened to all of this talk about being artistic and making things and be thinking, fair enough, but it's not for me. That's how I felt for a long time about sport. I thought, I'm an artistic person. I don't want to go for a run. But then I started, bit by bit, two minutes at a time, then 10 minutes, then 30 minutes. Now I love running. I'm not very good at it, but I love it. It strengthens my creativity. This also works the other way around. If you are an athlete, or a scientist, or you want to start your own business, creating something artistic can help. It benefits your mental health, it helps you think in different ways, and it can complement your existing hobbies and professional pursuits. The next thing you might ask is, where do I start? I've already mentioned some things I include in my category of art. I'm sure you can think of more. Some you can do on your own. For others, you might collaborate with a friend, join a group, even start a group of your own. My advice is, start small. Try something. Enjoy the messy process of trying, failing, discovering things, and meeting people. You might also be thinking, I don't have time. But you do have time. The average amount of time spent online on a smartphone is two hours and 28 minutes a day. The numbers are even higher for teenagers. You can afford to take some of that time away from mindless moments scrolling on social media and dedicate it to exploring something new, to engaging with your creativity and making something. We are living in a time when, in many countries, including this one, Subjects such as science, technology, engineering and maths are valued much more highly than art subjects like music, art and drama. Of course, so-called STEM skills are hugely important and can equip you for the workplace. But exploring the arts also equips you for the workplace by giving you a flexible and creative approach to problem solving and an ability to collaborate and communicate effectively. More importantly, however, exploring the arts has huge health benefits and can allow you to be a stronger, more sensitive and fully rounded person. I want you to spend 10 seconds right now thinking of something artistic, something that involves making that you would like to do that you would like to try, and you don't have to tell anyone what you think of. Why should you listen to me? Because it might be fun. Because it could make you more employable. Because you'll be surprised who you can meet and get to know because you might learn something about yourself. Because why spend all of your time watching, listening to, and experiencing things that other people have made when you can make something yourself? I'd like to finish by sharing with you something that I've made. This is a song that I wrote a few years ago and I've recently recorded and released. I started writing it while I was out running. The rhythm of the running conjured up musical rhythms in my head. And the running became a wider metaphor for some things that I was struggling with at that time. During the process of writing, recording, and performing this song, I exercised my mind and used problem-solving skills to craft the words and the chord sequence. I collaborated with a brilliant producer and I've undeniably engaged with and supported 
my own mental health. This song is called Towards Today. Pick up your troubles and carry them with you. So that they can see that you don't need them Pick up your troubles Don't leave them behind you So that they can see what happiness really means I'm not running away, I'm running towards today I'm not running away, I'm running towards today And when you're ready Stretch your hands out wide Wide enough to play a ninth row made to be And when you're ready The fall down Because you're running fast now you're running out of time I'm not running away I'm running towards today I'm not running away I'm running towards today I'm not running away I'm running towards today Some people will tell you that strength is an instinct Either you're born this way or not at all but Strength is a process of careful construction And there's no strength without weakness, no, not at all Oh, I'm not running away, I'm running towards today I'm not running away, I'm running towards today Heart beating fast now, lungs expanding Fingers weaving through the air like fireflies And nobody's watching, and everyone's watching and it doesn't matter which is true, cause I'll be fine Oh, I'm not running away, I'm running towards today I'm not running away, I'm running towards today I'm not running away, I'm running towards today I'm not running away, I'm running towards today.